Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 4 with me, the Dragon Claw. Last time we detonated a nuclear weapon in front of our enemies and then we attacked them. Uh, we ran out of steam just as the last enemy stood. Which is annoying but... Oh well, I didn't really want to have to leave a unit out there which would definitely get killed. And to be honest, considering the amount of damage we have caused to these guys, I would definitely say that we have come off better. Because I mean, all the nuclear detonations. That must have done something to them. I mean, it, it hasn't really done too much to my economy, most of my land i.e. everything across from this point is relatively unchanged. Some people are unhappy of course and I've had to lower my research rate indirectly by changing civics and I've had to slow my production on my spaceship because I've had to build nuclear weapons. But overall I don't think I've done too badly in this conflict. I mean, I might try for peace. Actually, let's see after that catastrophe if I'll accept it for Canterbury. I might get a trade proposal. Peace treaty. City. Uh, of Canterbury. They will. Excellent. That's good. So, I'll still build that bunker there. But I'll change this up to... Um, instead of a tactical nuke... Oh no, I'll keep a tactical nuke coming. Over here I'll... Switch it up to SS casing. So I'll produce the last piece of casing around about the same time I get that and I'll switch back to representation and let's just end the turn okay I probably should have seen to Canterbury <laughs> that's not something I really wanted to overlook it's got no protection Global warming's been striking everywhere. To be expected. I did nuke everywhere. And we're polluting like hell. Uh, keep everything fortified here, this is still a border of tension. I'll move him down here. I'm not going to do too much, I'll just keep that garrison there. I still want to protect this mostly. And William the Conqueror will still be there. Okay. I'll bring my guy back. But I'll keep this fleet on alert over here. I've left my borders protected by ships, but then again one or two ships aren't going to do too much except serve as an early warning sign and what are you building over there? you're building a laboratory uh... sure yeah, keep working on that okay make sure it's working the right tiles, it seems to be um, I, I'm going to need to put this up. Can we scrub Fallout at all? I don't think we can. 
Yeah. We need ecology. But I will build what we can build. Pasture for pigs. Get Nottingham up and running again. And as soon as it's up and running, good things will happen again. So we really should go for, SF for ecology, then we'll be able to scrub our own fallout. <laughs> Recycling centre will be fantastic. And SS life support, of course. Stealth technology would be nice. Um, but it's not going to lead to us winning the space race, therefore I am not inclined to go straight for it. I'm probably going to go ecology then to fusion. Or genetics. I would like a plus three in all cities. Okay. Let's just see how this goes. I'm also going to turn off displays as soon as I can. Oh, I would like another ICBM soon, but stuff needs to get done. While saying that, I think I'll build an ICBM just for protection. A nuclear deterrent, as it were. Oh jeez, build a forge. Nope. Tactical nuke, I know where I'm rebasing this. And you stay on the lookout. Stay on the lookout. Uh, go away, go away. And you stay on the lookout there. Now I know I can put tactical nuclear weapons on submarines, that would be very nice. To have them, like, do what Ragnar did, sneak them into places like here and just let loose. Yeah, I'm... To be honest, I'm not surprised if they accepted peace because Although I can't see behind their borders, I'm sure they are in a terrible, terrible situation. Because all of these tiles with radiation, they can't work them, and all the improvements on it are destroyed. And considering you have cities like this, like 15, 16, that was 19 a while ago, um, that depend on food and the infrastructure you've built, and I just remove it and all the stuff around it with one bomb, yeah, that's terrible. And these towns, towns like that, where the mouse is, I'm too lazy to move the mouse, I'm using the keyboard. Um, <laughs> uh, they will be destroyed in one hit. Like, not even just taken down a notch, they'll be completely and utterly destroyed. I don't know how much of that desert was there originally, but I'm sure it can't be good. Yeah, they're in a dire situation, they really should not have declared war on me. It did slow me down, however. I'll say that much. And I might have stopped for an uh, inopportune time, because I think Ragnar was going to just mow down this continent. Well, unfortunately for him, he wasn't the one getting invaded. So I had to end that conflict quickly, because I need to win by a space race. And of course, he's still building tactical nuclear weapons. Oh, well. And intercontinental ones, can't forget those. I think he's going to be like the military guy. In case you hadn't noticed, I, I'm building a spaceship to investigate the stars. He's just building nuclear weapons to blow up the planet we're currently on. But hey, at least there'll be demand for a new planet we'll have to settle. It's a cosy little business. Blow up one world, settle another. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light, with the possible exception of bad news, which obeys its own special laws. <laughs> good old Douglas Adams. Mobile Sam, that'll be very good against those gunships they like to deploy against us. Uh, mobile artillery, just good altogether. 
um, an SDI uh, thing that we can't really let slip into enemy hands because if you say 75% chance of intercepting nukes. Tactical nukes have a ch better chance of evading, they're only like 25% chance of intercepting in total. Um, of being intercepted rather. Uh, just because they've got a smaller range and it's less dangerous. Although, as you can see by uh, Ragnar's tactics, they're not any less dangerous. Uh, so I'll probably have to build a SDI, even though the AI doesn't like to use nukes, with the exception of Gandhi, of course. Um, I'll still build one to be on the safe side. Hmm. Okay, if Ragnar wants to go genetics first, I will oblige. Um, you there... I feel it fitting for Nottingham to build it. Uh, intelligence agency would be nice. But I mean, you can't say no to a hospital. Especially not in your situation. No! Stop it! Okay, I'll keep that guy set back there. And I'll keep this guy on standby. Ugh, another revolt. I should get that spy out of there. And send it into this guy's territory. I want to know what his capital is like. I didn't nuke it, but I kind of was tempted. And just so you guys know, the only reason I got the peace treaty was I want to win by a space race. Because I'm really not equipped to win by war. If I was going for a war victory, I would have attacked a lot earlier. Can I even build another one of those? I don't think I can, but I'll... so I'll hold out on that. You will build me... Tactical Nuke. I'm going to try and switch to tactical nukes rather than ICBMs just because of the development of the Satellite Defence Initiative. Hmm. Sorry I was drinking there, but global warming? Terrible thing. Uh, it turns tiles into desert. I believe we've had the discussion already. Uh, so it can be terrible. The entire map eventually can be turned into desert. Um, and it also affects water tiles, so the oceans will dry up, I believe. But it does take a very long time, but it is possible. Uh, it's not possible... I think it is... well, I think it is possible for cities to still live. Because, uh, like, London there with floodplains, the rivers won't go away, so they'll still be there, I think. Uh, let's skip a turn. Um, yeah, the uh, river will still be there, so you'll still have, like, floodplains, I believe. So London is fairly safe from global warming, I think. Again, I'm not too familiar with the mechanics, but I know enough. And of course, I believe there's like basic food that a place has. So I think you could survive, but not too many cities. Certainly, probably not a city over level 5. But there would still be life. In the end, that's all that matters. Okay, I'm going to do some counter espionage, just to make sure, and we're going to keep ending turns and building things. Things like SS thrusters will be done, ICBMs will be done, it'll be great. And I think I'm actually going to keep producing ICBMs at York because you really cannot doubt its effectiveness. I mean, I was probably saved by that. Okay, the last SS thruster. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of casings I need to add. 
Okay, so that's the last thruster that'll be added. The engines will go on the sides here, I believe. Um, build casing. Is that really your production? Do you have power? Do you have the power? You do have the power. Okay. Um. And I'd suggest either a supermarket or an industrial park. Two citizens into engineer would be quite good. I'd just go for the casing. Market a barracks over here? No way. Uh, build... Public transportation? Jail. Minor earthquake near London has caused the collapse of a nearby mine. Trapped miners have perished by the hundreds. Organise a rebuilding effort. Send emissaries to the bereaved. Too pressed. Uh, 50 is not too much. And I'd like to keep the mine if I can. I would really like to know where he's building all this stuff. Global warming is striking everywhere. I'm going to need to launch a rocket off this planet to win as soon as I can. Um, let's see... Five... I've made eight, he's made three. The five ahead. And... We are of course more advanced than he is in terms of technology, but only slightly. We're going to get the life... no, stasis chamber first? Or next, rather, I think. So that'll be good to work on. Life support will be coming soon. Coming to a town near you. Uh, let's check that, actually. I kind of want to get to fusion quickly as well. Okay, go genetics, then I think we'll have to go... Yeah, okay, we'll have to go ecology, fiber optics, then fusion. Future Tech is nice, basically it allows you to keep playing the game um, to completion if you if you want to, it just sort of you keep researching Future Tech and every turn you get more ha more health, more happiness. Um, I believe it goes on exponentially, but I'm not sure. I really haven't played games after completion. I've played a few turns, you know, like launched a few nuclear weapons just to see what would happen. Nothing too major. Oh, Cyrus, really? <sighs> that my galley? Oh, I didn't realise I had a galley. Or a caravel, whatever it was. That's gonna be the last of that ship. Yeah. God damn it. Well, out of one war into another. Uh, someone is launching nukes. I'm praying to God that's Ragnar again. I hope it is. I really, really hope it is. Uh, if it is, I'm going to join the party. And even if it's not, I'm going to join the party. Hi, you're a dick. Soon it will be a sin for parents to have a child which carries the heavy burden of genetic disease. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought we would want to go with stealth. Can't afford it, we need to go with the other thing. And now I'm just going with default colours. See what you made me do? Okay. We are going to need... Um... Oh, yeah, just, London, just keep building the space rocket. Uh, you... Build me... Missile cruiser. I need a navy. Okay, I can't see any nuclear weapons that have, that have exploded on my land, so I'm presuming. Oh, hello, tank. You really picked the wrong neighbourhood to wander into. Yes. 
Nie ło... Bombard! Bombard! Oh, I didn't get a chance to run away. Oh well. Um, see you. Yeah, you attack that time. Go, William! Show them what for. Um, and get back in the city. <laughs> What's the plan? Go, cowardice! I choose you. I think we have more advanced weapons technology than Cyrus, so I don't know what he's doing attacking us. And I mean, it's not like he has allies. I mean, technically, Siri Vuman is his ally. That's why he wasn't so happy with me. At least that's what I'm assuming, because he was. At your service. Okay, ICBM time. Oh, I'm sure uh, Ragnar's in a world of hurt over here. Oh, well, no, he doesn't really have much. Okay, now I'm not going to target cities close to the water or close to Ragnar because I know what he's going to do. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to fire this nuke. Kind of want to fire it over here. Like on one of these islands and take it. But I really can't be bothered. That's the kind of thing I'd do if I was aiming to win like this. I just want to survive. Where's his tactical resources? Right there for a start, but we're not going to be able to nullify that. Right there. Right there. Aluminium is a pretty tactical resource. I'll use my other nuke on that one. Right now, I think I'm content to nuke his, sit his biggest city. Or his biggest mass of units, I think, would be another good way to... Yeah, right about there looks quite good. And it will help out my ally. There we go. And keep him fortified up there. Okay, let's see what, what that did in terms of damage. A lot of damage to a lot of people. And I managed to miss Ragnar's mechanized infantry, so all wins there. So, on that fairly happy note, I'll end the episode. We made peace with one person and got into a war with someone else, but hopefully things will go better next time on Let's Play Civilization 4.